For our three-week project, our group got the topic, Why and How to Shop Local Foods in Camrose County. First, we are going to introduce our project and what we did, then we will touch on the importance of sustainability, and then we will go over the methods we took to complete this project. After the methods, we will talk about our findings and present one of our deliverables. Then we will talk about the next steps that can be taken, and then the goals we set and how we achieved them. First, I'm going to introduce you to the team. We have Fionn Dalton, who is a second year student in a Bachelor of Science degree with an undeclared major. His role in this project was to be the reporter. Next, we have Lorraine Paris, who is a third year Bachelor of Science student majoring in biology. Her role in this project was to be the facilitator. Next, we have Darby Ann Swanson, who is a Bachelor of Arts student majoring in political studies. Her role in this project was to be the recorder. Last, we have myself, Jillian Peterson. I'm in my second year of university, majoring in kinesiology. My role in this project was to be the prioritizer. For this project, we created four deliverables and three infographics to provide our sponsor with. This project's purpose was to bring awareness to the benefits and importance of purchasing local food and where to find local foods. We hope the results of our project educates the community and promotes the growth of local food businesses. Our sponsor for this project was the Food Artisans of Camrose County, who is also sponsored by the County of Camrose. The FACC is an organization that aims to increase support for local producers in Camrose County. We worked with Megan Lethbridge to gain insight on the FACC and to know what they were expecting from this project. She provided us with lots of ideas and feedback. Our group views sustainability as maintaining or improving the integrity of Earth systems while keeping in mind both present and future generations. Sustainability can be divided into three pillars, economic, environmental, and social. First, we have the economic pillar of sustainability that promotes the stable growth of businesses and job opportunities without jeopardizing the other pillars. Buying goods from local producers results in a variety of positive environmental changes. A couple of benefits to the environment are reduced carbon emissions from reduced transportation and less packaging going into the landfills. Shopping locally also allows for op more opportunities to socialize with others. The increase of social interaction builds a sense of community and creates connections between and among producers and consumers. The deliverables we made for the FACC included four videos about how and why to shop locally, and three infographics about data related to local shopping in cameras. On the second day of classes, we met with our sponsor, Megan, and applied her input to our project's goals and objectives, which included increasing consumer knowledge about shopping locally and educating people on what, where, and when local foods are available in cameras. To successfully integrate all team members' input into the executive summary and the final presentation, we met on Google Meets, brainstormed ideas together, completed the write-ups together, and then critically analyzed what we had written as a group. Furthermore, our well-laid-out daily schedule and daily meetings helped us stay on track and assured good communication. An inevitable part of projects is running into speed bumps. It's important to be able to troubleshoot effectively to overcome individual and collective obstacles when working as a group. A significant problem our group encountered was the fifth person in our group dropping the class. We originally had five topics split up evenly among us, so once we lost that fifth person, our group had to reevaluate. We decided that since our fifth question, which was how to spread the word on where to shop local, was directed more towards the FACC than the public, it would be better to include these suggestions in our presentation under Next Steps, rather than in a video. We also struggled to find peer-reviewed sources to back up our data. To overcome this obstacle, we decided upon criteria our group could use to decide whether a source was reputable or not, including looking at authors, publishers, references listed, etc. The first part of our deliverable was making videos for the FACC's social media platforms. We decided to each take responsibility for one of the topics and do in-depth research on it, so there was one spokesperson for each of the four topics. After we felt sufficiently knowledgeable on our subjects, we met as a group to share our findings and created products with all members' feedback and input. We concluded each topic should be about three to four minutes long, and the main goal should be to educate the public about how and why to shop local in an engage engaging and interactive way specific to Camrose County. We used Prezi and Powtoon to make creative presentations we could narrate over. After we finished one video, we met with our sponsor, Megan, again 
to get feedback on the content and formatting of the video. She offered some great advice about additional content and some edits, which we applied to our finished products. We then brainstormed how to make our deliverables camera specific and came up with the idea to use the FACC's social media platforms to extrapolate data we could use to create infographics. We read through the public's feedback on social media posts, grouped the feedback into categories, and made a frequency chart using Microsoft Excel. From there, we used a website called PictoChart to make organized infographics that creatively presented our data. Three questions we were able to report findings for were one, what is the preferred way to purchase local foods? Two, what are the biggest obstacles to purchasing local foods? And three, what are the top reasons people shop locally? For our deliverables, we created four videos and three infographics. The four videos were based on guiding questions. The first deliverable was a three minute video focused on how to shop local throughout the year, shopping seasonally. With some research, three important methods for shopping locally year round were found. This is a non-exhaustive list, but the three methods that we focused on were eating seasonally, using community supported agriculture or CSAs, and supporting local farmers markets. It discussed how these three methods could be used to help shop locally throughout the year. With all three methods, the wider scale was focused on first, with the local Camrose County scale being discussed after. The deliverable created on the topic, why shop local even though it is more expensive, was a three minute presentation created on the platform Prezi. This deliverable focused on the reasons as to why you should shop local in all of the three pillars of sustainability, economic, environmental, and social. Research was conducted to learn about the different reasons as to why you should shop local, as well as some ideas provided from our sponsor. One deliverable was based around the question, what are the benefits and misunderstandings of shopping locally? In this deliverable, the argument was focused around the three pillars of sustainability and provided explanations about how each apparent drawback was either a misconception or why the drawback was worth it. For example, shopping local can be less convenient, but you can you get to make connections with producers not possible while shopping at a grocery store. Here's one deliverable that we created on where to shop locally in Camrose and Camrose County. Did you know there is a wide variety of local food products produced in Camrose and Camrose County? These products include honey, cheese, beef, and many more, all produced locally. The problem is many people are uneducated on how to access these local products. This short video will explain how you can get your hands on these amazing local products and where you can shop locally in Camrose and Camrose County. The Food Artisans of Camrose County, or FACC, has great resources that helps consumers shop locally. The FACC has a directory so consumers can contact over 60 growers, producers, and processors directly to purchase local food in an easy-to-navigate platform. The FACC also has a brochure that lists the products local producers offer for your local shopping convenience. These two resources make it easy for you, the consumer, to know where to access many fresh local products in Camrose and Camrose County. There are many farmers markets in Camrose that bring together local producers and makes it easy for consumers to have access to many amazing local products in one easy to shop location. Many farmers markets are held in Camrose on a weekly basis. For more information on times and locations for farmers markets in Camrose, consult the FACC brochure or FACC social media pages. Camrose County has a number of market gardens for you pick opportunities where consumers can pick their own locally grown produce, like Saskatoon's, strawberries, and other seasonal fruits and vegetables during seasons of harvest. Market garden locations in Camrose County can be found in the FACC directory or by visiting www.albertafarmfresh.com. Community Supported Agriculture, or CSAs, provides a unique opportunity to buy local food products in Camrose County. CSAs are convenient for consumers and producers. 
Consumers buy memberships from local farmers and once the produce you have a membership in is ready, you will obtain a regular basket of food. Essentially, this program pays farmers in advance for a portion of their yield. Signing up is easy. To find local farms in Camrose County that participate in CSAs, check out the FACC directory. In Camrose, there are a number of locally owned food stores and restaurants that give consumers the opportunity to support small businesses in the city and local food, including Belessa House and Fika Coffee House. A list of more of these businesses can be found on the FACC directory. Did you know local food products produced in Camrose County can be purchased in retail stores in the city? When you are shopping in retail stores in Camrose, keep an eye out for local foods. For your local shopping convenience, some farms have online stores where people can place orders online. Some producers even do door-to-door -door drop offs Some farms in Camrose County even have on-farm markets or stores. Shopping local has never been so easy. Consult the FACC directory to discover which farms in Camrose County offer these services. As you can tell, there are a wide range of ways you can shop local food in Camrose and Camrose County. Knowing where to shop local in Camrose and Camrose County is your first step in purchasing more local food and contributing to the many benefits shopping local has on the community, local producers, and on you, the consumer. This video was brought to you by the Food Artisans of Camrose County. The results of the three questions we answered using the data we found on the FACC's social media posts allowed us to see the Camrose specific reasons people buy foods locally, the most significant obstacles people face when shopping locally, and the preferred ways of purchasing local goods. This information allowed us to create these three infographics. We thought up some next steps the FACC could take to continue promoting local food in Camrose County. The first idea was to create a store that sells local goods exclusively. We recognized that this would be hard to implement. However, it would allow shoppers to overcome the obstacle of farmer's market limited, at, limited hours and the inconvenience of having to go to multiple places to buy goods. A smaller scale and likely more achievable version of this would to be to try and get more local goods sold out of national retailers in Camrose County. This would allow for people to buy local foods along with their other groceries that may not be available locally, which is far more convenient. The next idea was to promote local shopping more at Augustana University campus. As many of the students are new to Camrose County and do not know where to shop for local produce. Presentations, posters, brochures, and other informative means on campus could help promote local shopping within the student population. The next idea we came up with was to create a recipe book with recipes from local producers to give insight on ways consumers could use their products. This book could be available for purchase at local farmers markets, on the FACC website, or used as an incentive to buy local foods. We also thought that themed events around holidays or other community events could be used to promote local shopping. Local food could be available for purchase and information on the importance of shopping locally could be given out. This could bring people in the community together while supporting local food. Finally, we believed a research study could be conducted that asked about how often people in the community shop local, what barriers prevent them from shopping locally, and other related questions. This could supply useful and insightful information on the barriers people are facing and what would help them shop locally more. Going into this project, we were guided by five main goals we wanted our project to achieve through our deliverables. One goal of our project was to encourage people to shop local foods while applying our own ideas and research. To attain this goal, we conducted our own research by analyzing the benefits and what other communities have done to, pr to promote shopping local foods. We also wanted our project to educate individuals on the importance and benefits of shopping local foods. We made our deliverables as creative as possible by using Prezi and Powtoon as the platforms to create our videos instead of PowerPoint or Google Slides in hopes of capturing the audience's attention and making our videos more intriguing to really drive home our messages. Our deliverables were relatively short in length, so individuals do not have to dedicate a large amount of time to watching the videos. We hope this would allow our videos to reach a large and diverse audience 
and educate as many people as possible. A very important goal of our project was to promote sustainability in relation to shopping local foods. To achieve our sustainability goal, we integrated the three pillars of sustainability, social, economic, and environmental into our videos. Another goal of our project was to incorporate the cameras context specifically. We wanted to promote local producers in Camrose County and encourage people to seek out local food products in Camrose. To achieve this goal, two of our deliverables emphasize where you can shop local food in Camrose. The final and somewhat broad goal of our project was to provide the FACC with resources they can utilize on their social media pages. To reach this goal, not only did we create a series of four videos, we also made three infographics with some data the FACC supplied us with. We hope our project encourages people to add local food to their grocery list. It's important to support practices of sustainability so that we meet our society's current needs without jeopardizing the needs of future generations. Even the slightest support towards local food producers has a significant impact on all three pillars of sustainability. Here's our references and thank you so much for listening.